Here's just a few tips when you're prepping your 2023 CPT book I'd like you to keep in mind. In Lab and Path, be sure you know this name, Organ or Disease-Oriented Panels, because that's the verbiage they use on the certification exam. They won't call it anything else other than Organ or Disease-Oriented Panels, and that might confuse you. Also, all panels have 00, zero as the second and third digit in the CPT code descriptor. So anytime a question mentions a panel, you know you're coming here to these num these codes, these CPT codes, because they're the ones that have the zero, 00 on the second and third. You know in the back of the book, of the CPT book, we have this last cover page that has a bunch of acronyms on it. That's super important to know where this is at because a lot of definitions are here. Sometimes they hold two definitions. So if there is two definitions, there's a comma in between them like Epstein-Barr and nuclear agent. That means it's got two different um, definitions. Be sure you understand that. And also, again in Lab and Path, there's another um, acronym area where there's more acronyms here. So be sure you know where this page is because if your acronym is not listed in the back page, the back cover of the book, it could be listed in these pages. Super helpful to know. Sometimes that one is usually on the exam. It's always a good idea to use these header pages that, are, that come before the actual coding starts as a place to put information where you can store it. Uh, for the exam. For example, all your modifiers that go with this particular section, I use these page headers as a place to put them and their definitions. Super helpful to know. Lastly, we'll talk about this gene table that's in the front of Lab and Path before the guideline section. Nobody really knows a lot about it, but I can tell you that some of it can be very helpful, especially when they're talking about these gene tests for breast cancer. There's three right here. Be sure and note these because if your exam question says they ordered just the test number one or they did number two or if they did the combo and did both of them at the same time, your answer to what the question is going to be is right here in that last column. So that's super helpful, especially when some of these CPT code descriptors say they can't be used together when you're back here in the back where the actual numbers are actually at. So this gene table is helpful for those kind of questions. I hope this is helpful. I'd love to see y'all for the six hours of free teaching that I do on TikTok. So be sure and um, follow, like, and share. And I hope to see you on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on TikTok for our two-hour interactive class around 6.30 Arizona time zone. I hope to see you then.